Hi Cancer, this is Sammy Lane. I'm going to be doing your reading now for the end of May. From now to the end of May, so the second half of May. Today is the 18th, so this will go until the 31st. And probably actually a few days into June. So, how are you Cancer? Uh, these messages will not resonate with every single Cancer. But I am asking and my intention is to help the largest group of the collective of cancer that we can so i'm hoping there's at least a couple messages in here for each of you please do me a favor and comment below if anything resonates with you or talk about the cards that do that is really confirming for me and it's confirmation for others who are going through similar uh, life situations as you cancer so um please do that for me i really appreciate it please like and subscribe if you want to receive more of these messages this is a pleiadian messages deck it's called the shiji oracle card deck so i'm just going to get a few starseed messages a few different oracle cards to really get a feel for what you're going through right now we'll do some wisdom of the oracle and then we'll get into the tarot for your love and finances for the end of this month okay i like to do the spiritual stuff first so we can get that through the 4d and 5d stuff of what we're really working on in healing and then do the tarot and see how that's actually playing out in the physical so spirit please give us messages for cancer from now to the end of this month may 2021 from the pleiadian messages deck for cancer Second half of May. Thank you. No self is recognized when in service mode. I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't know if it's going to. I'm just going to read. No self is recognized when in service mode because you are the oneness. This is what you do in the oneness state of awareness because your true nature and program are oneness. So this is about actually your energy cancer. Uh, you are so good at helping others and nurturing others and giving to others and being the mommy or the daddy and making sure that everyone has what they need. And so this card is just saying when you're in service to others, you are a part of the oneness. You are a part of the collective. And there is like, you know, they say there is no I in team. You're just basically stating no self should be getting recognized when they're in that service mode because it's about the greater good. It's about the oneness and the collective. So try to remember that, um, that it's not about you, Cancer. Not saying that you think that, but... You know, keep yourself out of it when you're doing things for other people. We never want to hold things over anybody's head or anything like that. Not that you would, I'm just saying. The cards are saying there is no I in team. And you are such a giver, Cancer. So I know you already know that. So this is focusing on the oneness in the collective towards the end of this month. Let's ask our Angels and Ancestors deck for Cancer messages for the second half of this month, please. From now till May 31st for Cancer. What is the focus for Cancer this month? Okay, we have a lot here. Three, okay. The Peacekeeper, let go of the need. No, we have four. Tricked ya. Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Okay, so keeping balance and harmony. It's kind of like the same energy as, you know, doing everything for everybody. Being the middleman. This says broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Wow, two cards about peace. Traveler, move in a new direction. Okay, so some of you may be moving or you're just changing your life's direction. Oh, and isn't that neat? with the arrow, right, right after it. And then we have Fire Guardian, Ignite Your Passions, Cancer. Ooh, it's 
So you guys are definitely dealing with some drama, it seems. You're having to be the peacekeeper, or you may have to be the peacekeeper towards the end of this month. And you're thinking about all the new ways that your passions can take you. Traveling, either actually in your locality or just moving towards a new path in your life. That is very exciting. Let's get some Starseed Oracle for Cancer from now until the end of May. Starseed Oracle for Cancer, please. This one wants to come out. Oh, no way! I just had this one for Pisces. Fall into my arms. Surrender. Holding the opposites. Extremes of life. So, you guys may really be going through it towards the end of this month. And I think we all are. Mercury's going to be retrograding the 29th. We're in the pre-shadow phase already, so you may already be feeling that. But also Saturn retrogrades on the 22nd and 23rd. And then we have a total lunar eclipse, full moon in Sagittarius on the 26th. So this month is going to be crazy, the end of this month. So yeah, you're definitely having to keep the peace. You're definitely thinking about what you're passionate about and moving in a new direction. And Spirit is telling you to surrender. Okay, and that you may be feeling the extremes of life, the, the chaos and the ups and downs. But... It's very important that you surrender to the changes and allow the changes to happen in an obviously peaceful way. You guys, you seriously are the peacekeeper. Like, you're the mother of the zodiac. Male or female, doesn't matter. You make sure everybody's good. And I love that about you, Cancer. You're always there to take care of everybody. So let's get some Wisdom of the Oracle to get your energy. And then we'll jump to the tarot. Thank you for being here, Cancer. Please take a second to like and subscribe. That really helps me. It helps other Cancers find this message. And if you wouldn't mind commenting on aspects that resonated with you, that would be great. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us about Cancer. From now to the 31st of May. This one is talking to me. Let's see if there's another one. Overall energy for Cancer for the end of May. Second half of May for Cancer. Okay, imagine. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. Serendipity, okay. Whoa, number 18. And then imagine, number 20. And this, like, immediately brings me to this, right? Ignite your passions. Imagine your future and what you could do. That is so exciting. So let's read these really quick. Serendipity, number 18. One of these days, I'm going to get my focus working, okay, when I learn how to work this camera. <laughs> Why doesn't it work? Oh, there we go. I just have to hold it really still. Number 18. Okay. Opportunity allied with readiness. The awareness of synchronicity, luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols and a magical alignment of events. So things just seem to be falling into place for you, although it may seem chaotic at times. Uh, things are just going to be working out for you. I really love that. So let's see. Let's imagine. Let's see if I can hold it really still. Okay. Turning imagination into manifestation. Wow. Creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity, and illusions. 
Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life that you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals, or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief, and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. You guys are definitely starting on a new journey. You are traveling in a new direction towards your passions, anything you want, anything that lights you up, Cancer, anything that you can imagine. This is incredible. Okay, and embrace the energy of peace. So, you know, some people don't know their passions. I know, it's crazy. But some people don't know what they're passionate about. They don't know what they want to do. They don't, you know, they haven't explored that. But what Spirit is saying is, you're going to know because you're going to be at peace. You're going to be at joy. You're going to know because it lights you up. You feel passionate about it. And you're going to be at peace about that decision. Okay, despite it being a little shaky, being a little chaotic, a little bit scary, you're moving in a new direction. And that is just so amazing. So remember, this is like a little warning shot from Spirit, Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Okay, so we need to let go of our pride a little bit probably because Saturn is going to be smacking us around when it retrogrades and then Mercury's going to retrograde and that always smacks us around a bit and tries to get us to replay the past. But once we surrender, okay, to th this peace, this passion, uh, and, and really use your imagination, things are really going to start falling into place for you with this serendipity. So let's get some tarot going. See what Cancer is going to be dealing with or has been dealing with. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer from now to the end of May. From now to May 31st. Whoa. Okay, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aries. This could be you getting serious, um, getting disciplined about something, cutting somebody out with this ending here. You could have been really uh, honest with somebody, very blunt, harsh. This could be pride, but um, that's more of like a fiery energy. But this, he can be harsh with his tongue. Okay, not saying you were. This could be someone else in your surroundings too. But it ended, okay? We have the death card, which always brings transformation and transition. The death card is representative of Scorpio in the zodiac. And we also have air signs here. So it seems like Cancer. We're going to get more cards. But it seems like for now... Yeah, we have the High Priestess on the bottom here. So it seems like for now that your intuition was giving you signs, okay, with the serendipity too, and you weren't at peace, okay, and it, I think you decided to cut this thing out. I don't know, we got to see what it is, but it seems like you decided, or somebody decided, uh, that there was going to be an ending here. The sun. Could have been dealing with a Leo. Okay. Um, this could have been something that you thought was going to make you happy. You could have felt really happy in the Hierophant. That's Taurus energy. Okay, so Cancer. There's a few different ways we can read this. The sun is your happy place. This could be involving children. Um, but this is what brings you joy. This could be that the relationship or, or career path, something ended here. And now you're moving towards a more happy, stable place with the Taurus. Or a Leo entered the scene and you want commitment. Or things ended with a Leo. Or with any sign, really. Possibly because of commitment issues. This could have been you wanting commitment. This could have been uh, you afraid of commitment. 
But a decision was made. Judgment call on the bottom. Someone got tired of waiting. So let's see what else is here. Tell me more about cancer, please. From now to the end of May. Okay, so yeah, this is you definitely moving in a new direction. So take this how it resonates, okay? This is transition. This is transition. You're going through a huge transformation, not to mention the King of Swords. I always mention this because it matters. On the back of his throne here is butterflies. This man has been through the ringer and he's learned a lot of things and he's transformed over time. Whether you were dealing with an air sign or this is representative of you, you could have got really serious and, and really disciplined and really strategic and, and very clear in your communication of what you wanted. You could have ended things with somebody that you thought was going to be great. And this is either surrounding a commitment or surrounding um, some sort of traditional beliefs. You could have been coming from two, two different religious belief backgrounds or moral standings. And that could have caused uh, an issue, but there's definitely an ending here and somebody moving away, wanting to move to calmer waters, wanting things to get easier. So their backs are turned and they're upset a little bit, you know, for what they're leaving behind, but they know that the direction that they're going in is going to be better. This is a rite of passage. This is a large transformation, transition for your life. This is definitely telling me about this moving in a new direction this whole energy here the traveler this is actually could be physically moving as well so this is leaving and going somewhere new physically or what have you this is definitely a big transition period for you cancer tell me about the outcome the magician, you are definitely creating here. You are creating a new beginning. So it's basically up to you, Cancer. What are you manifesting? A new beginning. You're waiting to see. There's that waiting card again. So this is like waiting to see your ships come in. This is knowing what you want, taking the action towards it, and then something comes in for you. So this is you standing here waiting, like, where is it? It's something brand new. This could be a new career, but it's a brand new opportunity that, that could lead to long-term success, abundance, stability, whether this is a relationship for you or a career path. It's a brand new direction, and you are creating this. It's like you set it in motion, and now you're just waiting to see. You already did the hard stuff. You were very clear about it. You put an end to it. And, and you're just moving forward now. So this month is about getting your ducks in a row. It's about opening yourself up to this new opportunity. And what do you want to create, Cancer? Give me advice, please. Advice for Cancer from now to the end of May. Advice. Okay. We have this... Uh, five of Wands card. So this is a very fiery energy. Could be dealing with a fire sign. When Mercury retrograde comes around, do not go back and fight with these people or this person if it was a Leo. Uh, if you have Leo friends or Aries or Sagittarius friends. And this is just conflict, okay? This could be internal conflict in your mind. But with this being the advice, I think Spirit is saying you're, you're going to have to get a little bit competitive here. Not in a rude way you know not in a mean or harsh way but this is this is fighting for what you want sometimes it's a healthy uh sharing of ideas aka a little bit of an argument <laughs> sometimes it's just being competitive in the workplace or for someone that you love so this transitions from waiting around to fighting for it Three to five. So your advice is 
remember this peacekeeper stuff too okay so with this being your advice i really feel spirit is saying you need to keep the peace when it comes to conflict however healthy competition is always good right we got empress on the bottom so pisces got that too water signs are feeling very good with jupiter here i really like this feeling of uh, progression and expansion the empress is very fertile she can have whatever she wants she's abundant she creates uh in the physical so it goes one magician and then it goes two high priestess which i already saw on the bottom when, when i talked about your intuition telling you to uh end the situation and then three the empress so you go from creating this opportunity for yourself to fighting for it and then you you get it so that's awesome that's a really great reading i'm going to pull uh, just a couple of these angel guidance cards see if we can wrap this up for cancer please spirit guidance for cancer from the angels from now till may 31st okay look at this this is insane i love spirit so much i love spirit so much look Focus on service. What did the first car that we got talk about? Service to others. Being in a state of oneness and awareness because that is your true nature. Service. Cancer. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve. Aww, and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds your everything that you need. Oh, put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So constantly ask yourself as you go through this transformation, as you imagine what you want, as you ignite your passions and start on this new path, this new trajectory, also surrendering, right? Also being the peacekeeper. Letting go of the need to be right. Are you in service to others? Are you giving to others? And are you receiving as well? You don't want to be giving. You know, you can't give from an empty cup. You know what they say. Focus on service. Wow. Wow. This is a great reading for you. Let's see what's on the bottom, just in case. <gasps> Go for it. Go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path. Wow, you figured it out, Cancer. So you already know. You already know what you need to be doing. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. With a sweet ass unicorn right there. I'm digging it. Cancer, you already know. And another unicorn. You got two unicorns. That's got to mean something. Seriously, look up unicorns. Spiritual meaning. That means something. Probably about transformation or, or imagination, right? Because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Why can't I get this to focus? Probably because my hand isn't still enough. Anyways, just trust me. It says imagine. Okay. You guys are going to have a great rest of your month. Remember everything you need to be doing. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.